Wait, what if it went like situation? I know you guys just picked up a corner, but is there anyone else on the free agent market that you're kind of hoping Washington can go ahead and snag with the money you guys have? So that's actually interesting. Washington has a lot of money. I don't know if you guys caught that either. We walked into the um, free agency with 40 million. We have 40 million in cap space. Okay. And um, basically, it's good and bad. We basically have money to spend, but at the same time, we have to roll some over the next year because of Deron Payne and Jonathan Allen and all of, and Terry McLaurin. We have to pay all those guys in the future. So we kind of have to like kind of tread on like, you know, if they're nice, like, are we going to try to go it all in for next year? Are we trying to like go for five years? You know, we have to kind of weigh that out. Um, we have about like 25 million left after Fitzpatrick and Jackson. Um, the big rumor, like hopefully by the time I get off this um, podcast with you guys, is Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel coming to DC, reuniting with Ron Rivera and um, come up with Scott Turner again. Um, we're looking at Galladay, but I hear um, the Giants have the inside track on that. So. But I think I'm going to walk away. The card is in. I'm kind of projecting. If you get Curtis Samuel, he's kind of like a weapon, like almost like a slot guy, you know, in the backfield kind of guy. If you guys know that story, that's exactly what happened. Oh, wow. but you, guys didn't, you guys didn't know that? Okay. I'm so bad. I'm just talking reckless on this podcast. But he kind of reminds me of like a fat, like a fat Eli Manning. He's kind of like he's just like he doesn't have a lot of mobility.